The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fourth chapter, text 6 to 8. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded in the summer of 1966 in New York. Bhutanam now, Lord Sri Krishna is uh, describing how uh, he incarnates himself. Uh, for the benefit of conditioned souls in the material world, the Supreme Personality of Godhead he descends. The Sanskrit word is avatar. Avatar. Avatar, avataran. Avataran means who comes from higher plane down to this material world. He is called avatar. So sometimes Lord Sri Krishna comes himself and sometimes he sends his representative also. For deliverance of the conditioned soul. Now, now, the principal religion of the world, Hindu religion, Muslim religion, Christian religion, and Buddha religion, most of them believe some supreme authority or personality coming down from the kingdom of God. Just like in your Christian religion, Lord Jesus Christ, He claimed to be the Son of God and coming from the kingdom of God to reclaim it. So this claim of Lord Jesus Christ, we admit, we the followers of and Bhagavad Gita, we admit this claim. And so there is no difference of opinion between uh, the followers of Hindu religion and Christian religion. In details there may be according to country, climate and people, in details there may be uh, difference. But that does not make any material difference. So far, devotional service is concerned. Now there are several items for offering devotional service to the law. They are called Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Parasevanam, Archanam, Bandanam, Dasyam, Satyam, Atma, Nivedanam. These are nine. Now, here, in this room, we are performing the process of Sravanam and Kirtanam. Uh, just like we chanted, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare. This is reciprocation of Sravanam and Kirtanam. Hearing and chanting. That I uh, chanted, you heard, and you chanted, I heard. Reciprocation. So this is, these two methods are the first method in devotional service. Savanam Kirtanam. And, and what about hearing and chanting? Now Vishnu. Vishnu means the Supreme Law. Vishnu. <coughs> Not any other thing. If we make chanting and hearing in some other subject matter, no, that is not do. We have to hear and chant about Vishnu, the Supreme Law. Similarly, Saranam, Kirtana, Vishnu, Smaranam, meditation, if you meditate upon the Supreme Law, that is also bhakti, devotional service, uh, Smaranam. 
सर्वनाम कीर्तन विष्णु स्मरण पादशी अर्चना अर्चना टेम्पल वर्ष इन योर कंट्री देर इज नो टेम्पल वर्ष इन आवर इंडिया देर इज टेम्पल देर थाउजेंड एंड थाउजेंड ऑफ टेम्पल इन इंडिया इन वृंदावन वेर माई रेसिडेंशियल क्वार्टर इज वृंदावन इट इज अ स्मॉल सिटी अबाउट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पीपुल लिव इन देर बट यू बी सरप्राइज टू नो देर आर फाइव थाउजेंड टेम्पल फॉर फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पीपुल देर आर फाइव थाउजेंड टेम्पल इन वन स्मॉल सिटी एंड आउट ऑफ दैट देर आर अबाउट डजन very big thing very just like four very big thing so temple worship is very popular in india similarly you have got your churches here that is mangana 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 means offering prayer you also offer prayer to the supreme lord so that is also accepted as devotion and service that muslims also they go to the mosque and offer prayers to allah and so practically and in buddhism lord buddha is accepted as incarnation of krishna in shrimad bhagavat ah uh, so we also hindus we worship lord buddha as incarnation of god there is a very nice verse recited by one great poet vishnu poet ah uh, in a glad to hear and recite ninnasi jagavi bhairah hasti jatam sadaya vidaya darshita pasukhatam ke sarvadhita buddha sarira जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे द पर्पज ऑफ दिस वर्ष इज ओ लॉर्ड कृष्णा यू हैव एस्यूम द फॉर नॉम लॉर्ड बुद्धा टेकिंग कंपैशन ऑन द पोअर एनिमल्स बिकॉज लॉर्ड बुद्धा प्रीचिंग वॉज टू स्टॉप एनिमल के ahimsa nan bhai his main objective was to stop animosity so similarly ah uh, the some high kingdom and the kingdom of god there is exactly the kingdom of god we have got this information from this bhagavad gita parast tasma subhara anya and there is another nature another nature just like you you have got a vision of this nature you find this wall in the sky blue you are on the sky ah millions and millions miles away there is another sky ah parastasma anna anna there is another nature which is called sanatana you find in this bhagavad gita as we make progress that is called sanatan nature sanatan means that nature is never annihilated this nature this material nature uh, it is manifested at a certain time and it remains for a certain period and then the whole thing is dissolved uh, again bhutya rutta priyate it is manifested and again uh, dissolved I mean, in the uh, spiritual sky, that is the uh, function of this material nature. And beyond this material nature, there is another nature, superior nature, which is called the kingdom of God. Sanatana, eternal. Yes. So, from that eternal nature. All these, either God, a representative of God, or incarnation of God, they come down at times when there is uh, uh, necessity. Just like the other day, I explained to you, just like there is scheduled time 
of the appear, appearance of the sun. Ah, in your America, just like at 4.30 a.m. in the morning, you find the sun rising. See you can. And again, 24 hours after, you find the sun, sun, sun rising. In every country, there is a scheduled time of the sun rising. Similarly, there are innumerable universes ah, in the sky. Ah, this is one of the universes which you are seeing. There are innumerable universes. So, in one of the universes, there is some incarnation of the principle of God always there. And there is a scheduled time, just like the sun appears and disappears at serious. Uh, sun disappears means it goes out of our sight. It does not mean some sun, uh, I mean, this uh, um, star to exist. No. Sun is always in the sky. It is simply uh, in our vision, just like so many cars are passing. One car is coming. You do not know which car is coming. When it is in my form, I see the car. And again, when it is gone out of my sight, I don't see. So my don't seeing, because I do not see the car, that does not mean it is not there. Similarly, the incarnation of God, God Himself, or His representative, Son, I mean, because just like uh, if you have to do some business uh, seriously, we send our very responsible man to come transact. Similarly, for the deliverance of the fallen souls here in this material world, sometimes the Supreme Lord Krishna comes, sometimes sends his very uh, confidential and uh, representative to reclaim. The mission is the same. The mission is the same to reclaim the fallen souls. Oh. <coughs> To reclaim the fallen souls. Ah. God is very compassionate to see our miseries here. We do not know. We do not, we have forgotten what side, although we are in misery, we are, we are trying to adjust the miseries. Ah. We are trying to adjust the miseries. But we, we are part and parcel of the Supreme Lord, therefore we are not meant for all this misery. We must know it. We are not meant for all this misery, but we have voluntarily accepted this material misery. And what are these miseries? Ah, they are called adhyakti, adhibhauti and adhibhaivik. Adhyakti means miseries passing into this body and mind. Ah, just like today we are feeling too hot. Why? Due to this body. And next moment I can feel not very happy. My mind is disturbed. So there are miseries due to this body and due to the mind. This is called adhyakti. And then again, adi bhautik, adi bhautik. Some other living entity, just like here, you are uh, hearing the barking of the dog, go, go, always. That is sometimes disturbing. So, such kind of misery is offered by other living being is called Adi Bhoti. We have got so many miseries. Uh, and then Adi Devi. Devi means uh, that misery is offered by the supernatural power. Just like there is earthquake, famine, pestilence, war. So, we are always, there are three heading of misery. And we are either, we are suffering either from the three all or at least one. There must be. This is the nature of our uh, life in this material existence. But we are trying to make a solution of it. That is our struggle for existence. But that solution cannot be made by our teeny brain. Ah. That solution can be made only when we take to the center of Krishna Discipline Law. 
Therefore, the Lord comes Himself uh, just to convince us that this is not your real life. This material existence you are suffering, why you should suffer? You are my son. Uh, that's why God Jesus Christ, He also told that I am the Son of God. He is happy. So everyone, you can become similarly happy as soon as you are reinstated in your position. The whole Bhagavad Gita is meant for convincing the, uh, uh, I mean, the conditioned soul. We are conditioned. That's, uh, that's like, uh, under uh, awkward circumstances, we are always, always conditioned. Uh, they are not free. Uh, some condition is there. Either state condition or uh, uh, nature condition or a condition led by other living entity or condition laid down by my own body. So we are always in condition. So uh, the Lord says, Krishna says, Adopi, son of Brahma, although I have no uh, business to come down here and uh, I am eternal, both of us, the uh, Lord and the living and both of us are eternal. Bhutanam is so beside Ishara. Why he comes, when Lord comes, he comes out of his good will. And when we come, we are forced. We have been forced to accept this body and uh, the condition of the material nature. So, uh, uh, when Lord comes, or his representative comes, uh, they do not accept the condition of the material nature. That is the distinction between ordinary living entity and the Supreme Lord or His representative. Uh, that's why uh, Lord Jesus Christ was crucified. So He could not be crucified. It is a, um, uh, I mean it's a um, false notion. There was there is a resurrection. Uh, because God or God's representative, they are not under the laws of this material nature. So that's a uh, very uh, I mean to say wide subject matter. We shall gradually understand as we met progress in the Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> so Krishna says that uh, although I am the Lord of everything, still I assume this uh, uh, incarnation um, and I come. I come. Prakitim Samadha. The difference is the Prakitim Samadhishtha. Prakiti. Prakiti means nature. Now we have got this body offered by the material nature. In the seventh chapter we find that God has two kinds of nature. One is called uh, lower nature. Light of this. One is called the lower nature and the other is called the higher nature. That thing will be very nicely analyzed in the seventh chapter, when you go to the seventh chapter. Now we are in the beginning of the fourth chapter. So uh, this Lord has two kinds of nature. One is called uh, lower nature, another is called higher nature, or superior nature, or uh, I mean to say inferior. This nature, this material nature, is inferior nature. And beyond this inferior nature, there is superior nature. And how superior and inferior is calculated? The jaya idam dhajati jagat jiva bhuta mahabaho. In fact, it is analyzed by this. That all this material nature, I mean to say, uh, earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and ego, this age, this age kinds of material nature there, and they have been described as apara. Apara means inferior. And beyond this eighth nature, there is another ninth nature. 
Ah, uh, which is that the Jeeva Bhuta Mahabaha, this living entity, that is the living force, the living force that is superior nature. And this uh, matter is inferior nature. And the whole world is moving due to the superior nature, not the material, inferior nature. Uh, just like this uh, uh, tape recorder. Uh, there was some difficulty in running on. So as soon as some superior nature, some living entity comes and touches it, it goes on. Although the machine is all right, so unless there is touch of the superior nature, it cannot work. You have manufactured many wonderful machines. You have manufactured this Sputnik, uh, flying the outer space. But do you know that in spite of all wonderful mechanical arrangement of a Sputnik or any machine, can it go on without any touch of a man? No. Unless the man in the laboratory touches the switch of electronic machine, oh, this Sputnik cannot fly in the space. That is not possible. Therefore, however wonderful may be this Buddhic machine, unless there is touch of the living form, it cannot walk. So that is the distinction between superior nature and inferior nature. You can understand. Now, we are now in, uh, in, in contact with inferior nature. That is our condition and life. We are also, we actually, as spirit soul, we belong to the superior nature. Just like God is superior nature. Ah, prakriti Shamadhishtha. The Lord says that I ah, ah, come down, I incarnate myself ah, in my superior nature. Ah, Shamadhishtha. Ah. But ah, what is our position? Although we belong to the superior nature, we have come to this material world not in superior nature, but we are in contact with the inferior nature. Therefore death takes place. Our birth and death is due to this body. The body is uh, subject to the annihilation at a certain period, and that we accept as death. And similarly, when we accept another body and come out of the mother's womb to work here, then we call it birth. And when we give up that body and go away to another to, to take another body, that we call death. Because so this birth and death is due to this inferior nature. So here Lord Krishna says that when I come, I do not come in this inferior nature. It will be a great mistake if somebody thinks that Krishna or Krishna's representative, uh, just like one of high dependent Jesus Christ or other uh, great uh, amit, uh, amit leaders of the um, religious uh, uh, faith, they do not come with uh, the uh, inferior nature. They come with the superior nature of God. That we have to accept. If we have to accept the truth explained in the Bhagavad Gita, then we must accept that, that God and His representative, they do not come. Those who come directly from the kingdom of God, they do not come uh, accepting this uh, inferior nature. Now, the question may be, and why God and His representative do come? They are in superior nature, they are in the eternal kingdom. Why do they bother themselves to come here? Ah. Why do they bother themselves to come here? This question may be raised. Ah. As soon as we hear, that God and His representative come. So, next question, why do they come? Because 
we are, we do not know that they come to reclaim us. Therefore our question is, why do they come? Now here the answer is, yada yada hi dharma sadhlani bhavati bharata abhutthanam dharmasya tadatmanam siyam maham paritrana sadhunam vinasayata dhustitam dharma samasthamana dhaya dhammamani juge juge Now this is the mission. Mission of the Lord and His representation. What is that mission? Jadavadahi dharmasya dhani bhavati. Whenever there is decline of the uh, principle of life, now it is it is here uh, stated dharma. Dharma is translated in English as religion. But religion is meant uh, just like a kind of faith. Ah, that's why I am Hindu. I am Hindu means I have got faith in the Hindu system of religious function. You are Christian. That means you have faith in the Christian system of religious function. So religion, so far English dictionary is concerned, it is described as a matter of faith. But the word dharma, it is not exactly the same meaning. Faith. Faith in my change. Suppose I am Hindu today. Now I can embrace tomorrow a Christian religion. Or you are Christian, you can become a Hindu. There are so many changes. People are free to accept one faith and give up another faith that is going on. But dharma does not mean that uh, faith which can be changed. Dharma is a thing which cannot be changed. Ah. That means there is something in you, in me and everyone that is called dharma. That is called. That cannot be changed. Ah. And what is that? Ah. This is a very ah, fine analysis of human nature. Then if you analyze the human nature, you will find that one thing there is which is called rendering of service to others. Suppose I am a Hindu, now I am doing something. I am rendering my service to my family, to my country, to my boss or to others. Without rendering service nobody can exist. We are all exchanging simply service. I am rendering service to somebody, somebody is rendering service to me. So whole world is existing under the system, rendering service. Your President Johnson, uh, he is supposed to be the chief man of your state, but still he is rendering service. What is he is doing? He is rendering service to the people. Uh, so he has the same business as you are rendering service to your boss and taking some money, then again with the money you are serving your family. Ah. So this is, this service, suppose I am now Hindu, I become a Christian or Mohammedan, that my uh, real business of rendering service does not change. Ah. So dharma means which you cannot change. Just like there are many examples in natural objects, just like water. Water is liquid. It is not a fake, it is a fact. Water is liquid. You cannot say that water is liquid and if it changes its fate, then it can, it can become solid. No. Liquidity of water cannot be changed. Whenever there is conception of water, if I, if I am blind, uh, uh, so uh, suppose somebody gives me, takes here a glass of water, I know it is liquid. So as the liquidity of water cannot be changed, now as soon as I speak of fire, 
So we understand fire is hot. Now, if you, if you uh, get in chain, the fire becomes cold and still it is fire. No. As so long it is fire, it is hot. So long it is water, it is liquid. Similarly, everything you analyze, take for example chili, ah, chili, red pepper, oh, it is very hot. Ah, now when you take chili from the market, ah, you see how much, what is the degree of its hotness. If it is very hot, oh, it is very good chili. Ah, if you find a chili sweet like sugar, or you reject it, oh, this is not good. Because that is the religion of the chi, to become very hot. Uh, similarly, sugar, if you take sugar, uh, if it is very hot, no, oh, it is nonsense. I want sweet. So in every case, if you analyze, you find a particular quality. That is the religion. That is the religion. So we are living entity. Forget yourself. Forget yourself that you are Christian and Hindu or Muslim, Muslim and Buddhist. Or forget yourself. I am living in it. Ah. When we come to this point, that is called liberation. That is called liberation. Sarupadhi bilin mukta. When we become free from all this designation, that is called liberation. Liberation means nothing more. Ah. The conception of getting free from the designation which we have at work from the association of material nature. That is called designation. Because I have got a particular body, therefore I have got so many designations. I call myself a man or animal or I have got some name given by my parents or because I am born in some particular country, I designate myself to belong to that country and because I accept some particular faith, so I designate myself to that faith in so many ways. Ah. We are now designated. This designation should be given up. When designations are given up, then we are free, pure soul. In that pure soul, the religion is uh, to serve the Supreme. Uh, just like uh, the, in a machine, you find a big machine. There are thousands of parts in the machine, but it is the small parts. They are all giving service to the whole machine. Just like your body, your body is a machine. So you have got your finger. Uh, now what is the what is the function of the finger? What is the religion of the finger? The religion of the finger is to give service to the body. Just like I am giving service this way, this way, sometimes this way. So this part of this body is meant for giving service to the whole body. Similarly, we are part and parcel of the Supreme. So our business is to give service. That service is now being rendered, actually. We are also serving now, but serving in designation. That. I'm serving, I'm serving, I'm, I'm not a master here. Ah, that is foolishness. Ah, just like I told you, even the President Johnson is not a master. He's also a servant. Every one of us is a servant. But what kind of servant? Oh, I am servant of my wife. I am servant of my family. I am servant of my country. I am servant of my society. And if there is nothing, then I am servant of my cat and servant of my dog and servant of my soul. Ah, if anybody I see in, in, in your country, there are so many gentlemen, they are very fond of becoming servant of cats and dogs. They are no children, but they are voluntarily become servant of cash and dog because that attitude is there. 
You cannot avoid it. If you have nothing to spare, your wife, your children, then you have to catch some cat and dog and give them. That is your nature. You cannot avoid it. So that is your religion. To say. Now, our whole thing is to serve the Supreme. That, that our now designated service, we are now in designated service. That means we, because due to this material warning, we have manufactured so many services. Uh, service we, can, we cannot, just like the water cannot be uh, 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 more than a liquid thing. Similarly, we cannot be more than a servant. But because we have got so many designations, our service is being rendered in designation. That is the difference. Now, when we become free from the designation and we come to our senses and render service to the law, that is our position of freedom. Real position. Real position. So, here, Lord says, Jada jada hi dharma sablani bhavati. Ah, jada jada hi dharma sablani bhavati mene means that whenever there is some discrepancy in the modes of rendering service of the living entity. Ah, jada jada hi dharma sablani bhavati. Dharma means, I have explained to you, dharma means my real nature. Dharma means my real nature. Dharma is not a phase. Dharma is not a designated phase. Dharma is my real nature. So when the real nature of the living entity are jeopardized, then at that time to make the adjustment of the Lord comes. Jada jada hi dharma sa glani bhavati and obhutthana Whenever there is some discrepancy in the natural sequence and natural life of the human being, and there is artificial increase of sense gratification at that time, when there is too much sense gratification, that's like Lord Buddha. When did he appear? He appeared, he appeared in India. The condition of his appearance, but as you know, I shall still explain. When India was too much busy in animal slaughter. Ah. Of course, the Hindus, they, there are Vedic principles of ah, animal slaughtering. They are, ah, just like in Mohammedans also, they have got some principles for animal slaughtering. Ah. You know, those who have read Quran, the Mohammedan religion allows animal slaughtering once in a year, which is called Kurban, and they can slaughter animals in the mosque. Similarly, in the Vedic religion also, the animals are allowed to be slaughtered in some sacrifice. But no religion, either Mohammedan or Hindu, uh, uh, I do not know in detail of the Christian religion, but uh, they do not allow animal slaughter in the slaughterhouse. Uh, there are some particular rules and regulations. Anyway, that is a religious religion. But when India was too much addicted for animal slaughtering under the plea of very sacrifice, the Lord Buddha appeared. Why? They misused the very injunction there misuse the injunction of the Vedic. So he, he proclaimed, no, this animal slaughter should be stopped. No. He, he did not agree even with the Vedic injunction. Ah, therefore, Lord Buddha's preaching was not accepted. It was, uh, once it was accepted, the whole of India accepted. Under the king, under the emperor or so, the whole of India became Buddhist. But later on, Sankara was here and he met against the Vedantis. So India, Buddhist religion from India was practically vanished. Oh. So these are historical facts. The real fact is that as soon as the natural sequence of living entity is geopardized, at that time uh, 
non religious principle, unnatural life becomes prominent and people become embarrassed. At that time, the incarnation of Lord is, uh, I would say, appearing. Yada yadahi dharmasya glani bhavati bhavati. Whenever there is discrepancy in the natural life, uh, that is explained to you, religion uh, means the natural sequence of life. When there is some discrepancy in that natural sequence of life, and there is artificial way of life, at that time the Lord or His representative comes either as incarnation or the representative of God. That is the rule. Jadajadaji dharma sabhyani bhavati bharata and abhutthana adha adharma unnatural life. When they are too much addicted to unnatural life, at that time the Lord takes his appearance. Why? And it is necessary. It is necessary for it pranaya sadhana. Ah. Always in law there there is always a class of men who are always God-fearing. Uh, there may be uh, uh, the percentage of such persons very uh, small, but uh, you will find uh, uh, that is the way of nature. Uh, there will be some persons who are devoted to God. Uh, they are called sadhu. 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 Sadhu means Ah, sadhu's description is that sadhu means sage or saint. Who is a saint? Who is a sadhu? Ah, that description is given. Ah, titik sama karunika. So, titik sama karunika swita sarvabhuta nam ajata sattva shanta sadhava sadhu bhusana. Ah, this, this is the definition of sadhu. Saint. Who is a saint? A saint is God who is very tolerant, tolerant, tolerant to the utmost. Ah, you have got very good example of Lord Jesus Christ, a great saint of sadhu, you are supposed, more than sadhu. Now, just see his behavior, how much tolerant you are. You are being crucified and you are praying God, O oh Lord, forgive these people what they are doing. Ah, that, this is the a significance of sadhu, titik sava karunika. Ah, for their personal sake, they are always very tolerant, but they are very kind to all people, all living entities. Ah, very kind. In spite of their all disadvantages, they try to give something, uh, real knowledge to the people uh, in general. Karunika. And Sridhar Sarvhutana and a sadhu is not a friend of a particular class, particular community, or particular country. No. A sadhu, a saint is he who is friend of all, not only of human beings, even of animals and less than animals. Oh, these are the qualifications of sadhu. Ajata Satrava uh, and they have no enemy. Or they are not anyone's enemy. Uh, everyone's friend. Enemy, of course, uh, even, even the greatest man will find some enemy. This is the nature of this world. Even the most perfect man will have some enemy. So, that is the one thing. But this sadhu, this saint, is no, no one's enemy. He is friend of everyone. Ah. Ajato Satrava Shanta. They are nobody's enemy. And Shanta. All is peaceful. Uh, these are the qualifications of Shad. Now here, the Lord says that I come, or my representative come. Why? For it pranaya sadhuna. Sadhuna. Uh, the Lord is very much anxious for the saintly persons uh, who have satisfied everything for the service of the Lord. They are very, very dear to the Lord. Lord cannot tolerate any insult or any, I mean, misbehave to a sadhu. Also sadhu, they do not 
have and say, mind, if they are insulted, they do not mind. But the Lord will never uh, tolerate. He says, sadhu, just like a small boy, your child, if somebody slaps him in the street, uh, the boy may excuse, uh, all right. But his father and mother will never tolerate. Why you have slapped my son? That is me. Uh, similarly, this sadhu, who is a great devotee of the law, they might be tolerant. He can crucify, he can uh, do any misbehavior to him. He is never angry. But God will never tolerate. Uh, we must always remember that. Uh, he has got special protection, special vision uh, on the sadhu. We will find in the Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Samohaṁ sarva-bhūtā, samohaṁ sarva-bhūtē isu nami deśyasti na priya. The Lord says, I am equal to everyone. Otherwise, how he can be God? Uh, he is equal to everyone, yes. I am equal to everyone. Nobody is my enemy and nobody is my friend. Samohaṁ sarva-bhūtē isu nami deśyasti na priya. Nobody is my enemy and nobody is my friend. I am equal to everyone. But Jesu Bhajanti Maha Sitya Tesu Te Mahi. But anyone who is devoted to me, oh, I have got particular attention for him. Although he is neutral, he is still the person who is devoted, he is always thinking of Krishna, Krishna content. Oh, there is special protection, special. Oh. Therefore, Lord Krishna declares, he will find in the Bhagavad Gita. Ah, My dear Kauntya, Arjo, you can declare it in the, to the world that my devotee will be never vanquished. Never he vanquished. So yes, the same thing is said. What is the mission of God? Why does he come down? Now, that is explained here. He says, Paritrana I come down, I incarnate myself, or I send my representative only for the protection of the sensitive person, say. And Vinasai to Duskritam. Duskritam are those who are miscreants just to uh, finish them. The Lord Krishna's mission this was to two things. Paritrana sadhunam vinasaya sadhuskita. He wanted to establish Arjuna, the five brothers, the most pious uh, and devotees uh, and kshatriyas. Uh, he wanted to establish them for ruling over this world and he wanted to vanquish the party of Arjuna. That was his mission. Two things. Paritrana sadhunam vinasaya sadhuskita. Duskita now. Dharma Samasthapunartha. And another mission is to establish what is real religion. What is real? In the name of religion, so many things are going on. But the real religion is that we must know that our natural function is to render service to the law. That, that, that is real religion. Ah. And forgetting this, Forgetting this principle of life under designation of this matter, I am serving, giving my service to so many things. That my, because I am naturally, uh, uh, <clears throat> now just like you take the uh, knife. Now what is the function of knife? Knife function is to cut. You can cut a pencil and you can cut your throat. Uh, the function of the knife is nothing but when you cut a throat, then the knife becomes polluted. But when you. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you. Uh, don't disturb the dog. Uh, so similarly, uh, the function, the function of the living entity, uh, the original natural function, is to render service. And when the service is misused, it is rendered where, it, it, where the service should not be rendered, when it is misused, that is called dharma-sabhlani. Ah, that means discrepancy. 
in the natural function of human life. So when God comes, He has three functions. He gives protection to the saintly person. He vanquishes the, uh, I mean to say, irresponsible and irreligious or uh, demonic persons. And uh, He establishes the real religion. Real religion. Dharma Sanskhapana Kaya Samhavani Juge Juge. He comes down not only once, uh, but He comes down many, many times. Many, many times. Uh, uh, because the, this material world is such that suppose a, a, an adjustment is made, uh, that again, some after some time it will deteriorate. Uh, just like there was first war, uh, there was some armistice and some arrangement of peace arrangement uh, was made between Germany and the other party. Uh, then again, the second war took place. And again, and uh, uh, a, a preparation is going on for the third war, you see. So this is, world is like that. Even if you make a very good arrangement, uh, it will gradually deteriorate. Uh, this, is, this is the function of the tank, Kala. Uh, that's why like you, uh, you build up a very nice house. Uh, then after fifty years it deteriorates. And after hundred years it more deteriorates. Uh, take, take for example your body. Uh, when it, it, it was newly born, when I was a child, a oh, very look, good-looking child, everyone is there, uh, and kissing and everyone is there, now I am becoming only nobody cares. So this is the function of this material nature. Even if you make a very good adjustment, gradually it will glide down to the lowest status. Therefore, it requires a periodical adjustment for that reason. The, the Supreme Law or the representative comes. The, that is explained here. Yeah. The Paritrana and Sadhana Vinasaya to this Gita. Uh, for protecting the saintly persons and for vanquishing the, uh, I mean, the unfaithful, unbelievers, and uh, for establishing the real uh, function of the living entities, Dharma Sanatthapna and Sambhavani Jivivya. I come down uh, not only once, but many times in many millenniums are uh, that is a uh, function of Lord Krishna. Uh, thank you very much. Now we can ask any questions.